Hey guys, it's me. I am popping back on to do another book haul. My book closeouts order did finally show up. I think, I'm not sure when I ordered it. I think I placed the order on the 24th and today is the 10th. So it actually came on the 8th. So what is that, like a week and a half, two weeks? So that's about how long the shipping takes to get your books from book closeouts. It was my first order from there. I don't really like it. it took forever to get the books and I really don't like that you cannot track. They don't give you tracking numbers. So I couldn't track the order. I had no idea if it was on the way or not. But I did get some pretty good deals. I ended up ordering 10 books in total from book closeouts. They were having this big 50% off their already clearance books. I did not pay more than like, I think the most expensive book I got was like $4. That I actually put a screenshot of the invoice up on my reading blog if you want to go check that out. Um, the shipping was like $11 and some change. It ended up being just over a dollar a book. Like, I think it was like a dollar forty a book or something like that for shipping. So that's really not that bad. And the quality of books are really good. Unfortunately, most of them have remainder marks on them. So if you're a collector, I would not shop at book closeouts because you're going to be upset when your books come and have the remainder mark. So now that the logistics of our first shopping experience at book closeouts is over, let's look at the books that I got. The first book I ordered was The Haunting of America. This is actually like an anthology of ghost stories uh, from the United States. I love stuff like this. Um, it's nonfiction, if you believe in that kind of stuff. This says um, it contains everything from the Salem Witch Trials to Harry Houdini. So this is going to be a really interesting read, and I can't wait to get started. I don't think this is a book that I'll read cover to cover. I'll probably read a little bit and then read whatever else I'm working on, and then read a little bit and read, you know, whatever else. I doubt I'll read this cover to cover. Along those same lines, they had The Curiosities of the Civil War by Webb Garrison. This is along the same lines of the other book. It is like a, it's like assorted short stories. Uh, also nonfiction uh, about stuff that happened during the Civil War. Fun facts, if you will. So I am looking forward to this. I have never been into history or anything like that. I used to sleep through World Civ in school. I was straight A student, but Lord, I was bored to death. It's funny to me that it took, I read Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter and just the fact that he used real events and worked the vampires in with it has totally like flip to switch. I love history now. The only problem is when I read it, like like when I read this, I'll be wondering what, what the vampires are doing. Do you know what I mean? It's going to be funny. Anyway, I, I have issues. It's okay. So I'm really looking forward to reading this. This is short stories and it's pretty thick. So this is also another book that I probably will not read cover to cover. I'll probably read a short and then you know, in between while I'm working on another book. This book was actually on my wish list and I hadn't picked it up because I couldn't find a, a good quality hardback for what I consider to be a reasonable price. The Marbury Lens, I've wanted this book for probably about a year. I think the first place I saw it mentioned was on Danny Mark's channel and he really liked it. Um, book two in this series is either fixing to come out or it just came out. I haven't purchased that yet. But I did pick this up and I actually got it for $4 and it is in brand new condition with the exception of it has a major mark. So I think that's a pretty good deal considering on Amazon the cheapest used one I could find was like 14 But that's the Marbury, Mar Marbury. You can read. There's the title. The next book I picked up, um, this is actually kind of a new author for me. I've never read any of her work, but I've been gradually picking up her books out of the bargain bins. And this was either $2 or $3, and uh, so I picked it up. Everybody talks about this author as being very good. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I know she has a werewolf series. I don't know if it's this one or not, and I know she has a vampire series. I'm hoping this is the werewolf series because I... I've read so much vampire stuff lately, I would like to have something different. Does that make sense? So yeah, this is Invincible by Sherilyn Kenyon. I picked this book up. This thing is so heavy for it to be as small as it is. Tiger's Curse. This has been on a lot of people's hauls. Uh, this is a book I don't know absolutely anything about. I bought it because I thought the cover was really pretty. I love any book that can put the foiling on it. See how it has the silver foiling at the top? 
I just think it makes a beautiful cover. That is going to be so pretty sitting on my bookcase. The back of it only has a tiny blurb. It says, I was dying. I knew it. At least the pain was gone. I wanted to tell him that I loved him. Then darkness overtook me. So, I don't know. I've not even looked up reviews for it. I don't think I want to know anything about it before I read it. Other than it's pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, my God. I love it. Do you love it? I love it. Oh, my God. I love it. The next book I got is... Haunted Legends, and this is a anthology edited by um, Ellen Datlow. Datlow. I actually have several anthologies that she's put together. Um, I have a fairy tale one, uh, fairy tales and nightmares, and then I have what else do I have? I have one called Teeth that's about vampires, and I'm pretty sure she's who put that together too. And I have another vampire one too that I think she put together. But anyway, um, it's this anthologies. It is ghost stories, and it's going to be awesome. It's not even. It's not very big, so this will probably be a quick read. The House of Dead Maids. It was funny that I saw this because this was actually I put this on my wish list like maybe two weeks ago. Like literally, I had it on my wish list, and like two days later, I saw it for like three dollars. So I picked it up. And she creepy. She doesn't have any eyeballs. But that's the House of Dead Maids. It's about this girl that gets hired to go be a maid or go help clean a mansion or something. And weird stuff starts happening. So, yeah, it's going to be a good read. And it's tiny. It's That won't take an afternoon. 13 to Life. I picked this up. I had actually, there's a, a giveaway for this going on on Goodreads. Or it was just going on. And I had just entered the giveaway for it whenever I saw it was for sale. Picked it up for like three bucks. No biggie. Sorry if you hear background noise. The kids still have company. It's like the third day. Anyway, they're downstairs playing Wii. They get rowdy and all that. So, if you hear stuff going on in the background, it's just kids. This is on my wish list. It's The Executioner by Chris Carter. Um, Chris Carter is uh, the guy that did The X-Files. The TV show. Well, y'all are probably too young. You probably don't know what I'm talking about. But this is book, I want to say book two in the series. And I actually just put this series on my wish list a couple of weeks ago too. So I was really excited to see it was for sale. And the last book that I picked up was Hold Me Closer Rec Necromancer. This was also off of my wish list. So I went ahead and grabbed it. It's in pretty good condition. Unfortunately, they put the remainder mark. And worst case scenario, it's on the top. Ugh, I hate it when they're on the top. But anyway, this is Hold Me Closer, Necromancer. Um, this is a series as well. I believe this is book one. I'm not positive. It says this is a scary funny book or a funny scary book. In either case, it is a great book. I love it. So that's going to be an interesting read. And that's it. Ten books from Book Closeout. I got the books for under, I think it was 20, I think it was like $28 after shipping it. That which was 11 something, it came up to be like 37 or 38 dollars. So, 10 books for 38 books, most of them were hardback. I don't think I got a bad deal. The only thing is the remainder marks if you're a collector and shipping is slower than snail snot, and you can't track. I had don't like that you cannot track your packages, so I don't know if I'll order from there again. But the books were all in good quality, so I don't know. It just depends. Depends on the mood. Depends on the book. But anyway, I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Today is Sunday. I'm not sure if I'll post this video today because I already have two other videos I need to upload. So this might actually go up on Monday. In that case, happy Monday. Have a great week. Thanks for watching. See ya. Yay, it's a book haul!